Hi Libra, welcome to your spirit guide messages for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, we're going to take a look here what spirit wants you to know at this time. So please only take the messages that resonate for you. Not every single message may be for you, so please do keep that, keep that in mind. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective reading. It's not a private reading. If you would like a private reading, all that information is down below in the description box, as well as a ton of other information. So please do go check that out. Uh, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, tons of stuff down there. So we're going to get three messages from each Oracle deck, and then we'll clarify with the tarot. And like I said, only take the messages how they resonate for you. If you'd like to watch past readings, links are below um, to your love and general playlist. If you find nothing here resonates for you, I do consider all my readings timeless. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And if you're a new Libra, you can check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to check it out and like, share, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. We greatly appreciate it. Hit the bell you won't miss out and if you do thank you and welcome to the family and i do about four or five readings a month per sign and they're all different so i have a variety of readings for everybody so feel free to check it out all right libra sun moon rising venus jupiter male or female general collective for libra please three of the most messages needed for the libra connected um collective for libra please thank you so much what do they need to know at this time? All right, so we kind of have like a mythical, magical theme going on, I felt, this month. We have fairies, uh, mermaids and dolphins, and unicorns. So let's see. Decks are listed below. I think I might have mentioned that if you're interested in the decks. Let's get three more messages for Libra. What spirit wants you to know at this time? Well, okay, that one wanted to stick in my hand. Two more messages for Libra. What do they need to know at this time, Spirit, please? Show me what I need to see for Libra Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male, Jupiter, male, female. All right. Let's see what we got for you, Libra. Let's see what the fairies have to say. And we have here... Vacation. So some of you, well, we're all kind of on a vacation right now, are we? I mean, it's not the kind of vacation we want, but we're all in quarantine. Well, most of us who aren't working, um, but if you are working, maybe it is time to take a vacation. And we have here environmental awareness. So this is telling you to be more aware of the environment around you. And it may not just be like out in the woods, out in nature, you know, the animals, the trees, you know, flowers. It just could be um, the conditions, environments around you, you know, people, places, and things also. So something around, um, be wary, be watchful, you know, of everything going on around you. I see the bird here. You may receive a message of some kind. So just be aware, like I said, of everything going on around you. We have higher consciousness. So this is kind of like higher knowing, um, Intuition, insight, listen to your gut, your higher knowing. So some of you may be connected to, you know, that higher energy. Hmm. Or it's time to connect to that energy. All right. Or, you know, just trusting yourself, your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing about things going on around you. So let's see what the mermaids have to say we have what's your thoughts it's important to only think about what you desire not what you fear so uh, be wary you know low self-esteem you know negative thoughts being uh, pessimistic or you know I'm not saying you're like that but being kind of in that low vibrational energy kind of only attracts that kind of energy back like they say like attracts like you know negative energy can attract negative energy so it's important to try to stay in a high vibration if you can and what your thought patterns, uh, your thinking patterns, because they will reflect things back to you. So be wary of that. And let's see, we have a helpful person. Someone wants to help you. Think of whom that may be and initiate contact. So if you've been thinking about reaching out for someone for help in some way, shape, or form, then it's telling you here, you know, maybe it's time to, you know, contact. Um, could also be, you know, if you lost touch with, 
people over time and now we're all kind of stuck at home, maybe it's time to, you know, initiate contact with people you haven't talked to in a very long time. Or somebody may be reaching out to you. And we have here self-employment. You're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So some of you here may take this opportunity that we're in now to go down the self-employment and entrepreneurial uh, kind of energy. So Spirit wants you to know that it has magical opportunities if you decide to go down that route. So let's see what the unicorns have to say. You are gifted. You are very intelligent and talented. So this could have to do, you know, if you're thinking of self-employment, being an entrepreneur, and it has to do with some sort of talent, gift that you have. It's saying here that you are very talented and, and uh, intelligent to do it. So saying you definitely are gifted. And a definite yes. The answer to your question is a strong yes. So yes coming in. And I just got this energy for uh, cancer. Wow. Same two cards. And love from your parents. No matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. So I'm getting for some of you, maybe your parents are on the other side and you're wondering, you know, are they around me? Do they think of me? Are they helping me, guiding me? Are they sending me signs, symbols, you know, information to help me in some way? I don't know why I'm getting that energy. For some of you, just know that, yes, they are with you by your side, trying to help you, guide you. They may turn lights on, on and off. I don't know where. <laughs> they may turn lights on and off. You may be like, why is that light on? I shut it off. So <laughs> be wary. They may be trying to send you signs, symbols, synchronicities, and uh, songs, trinkets, uh, finding, you know, same little items, you know, a coin or feather or seeing the same insect bug, you know, butterflies or ladybugs or something like that or some animal over and over could be a sign from them. Uh, and know if you are on kind of like the outs, outs with your parents, still know that they do still love you no matter what, no matter what happened between you. Uh, they still, do still love you, and that can never be broken. So, you know, maybe it's time to, for some of you, need to heal something with your parents. This is also could be a definite yes. This is right in the middle. So I feel it's a yes, you are gifted to go in that self-employment, and yes, that love your parents, no matter your situation, can never be broken. If you feel it's time to heal and mend, then it's a definite yes. If you're wondering, are they by my side if they're both gone? It's a definite yes. So how that resonates for you? Okay, Libra. So let's get some clarity on these energies for you, Libra. Libra, spirit, please. I'm just getting a strong energy here of a, a parent figure, like protecting, guiding, uh, watching over. So, all right. And even if, you know, they aren't passed over, if you are on the outs, just know they still probably do watch from afar. And it could be on social media. It could be through friends, family, uh, or something here. They still watch and protect over you, even though if you may still not be in contact right now in some way. They still have that parent and instinct to want to love, nurture, and protect, even if you're on the out. So please always know that. Okay, so let's see what this energy is about for you, Libra. I'm feeling like very something very emotional. So this has been an energy of wanting to reach out, make amends, or something here. And it's very emotional or there's a very, you know, emotional energy of like longing and missing and wanting that love again from your parents. It's like, yes, here, reach out, you know, they want to heal, nurture, mend, protect and uh, love you because they are your parents. And they may, to over may have overcome something also. Maybe that's why uh, for some of you, if you're not in contact with your parents, if there's something, there was a challenge, I feel like they've overcome that. But maybe you're not trusting that. All right, so let's see what this vacation is about. So we have the Princess of Swords and we have the Emperor. So if some of you are a business owner, he has that entrepreneurial energy with the Emperor. So this could be a business owner or something like that. And the Princess of Swords, um, it's a page of swords. So you could be doing research. It could be an online business. Um, it could also be doing research uh, online, 
kind of energy also. Some of you may be researching, uh, searching or doing research on where to take a vacation, like when this quarantine ends, like especially if you're a business owner, if you're still in business during this time, you know, maybe for some reason, whatever your business is, you're extremely, extremely busy because of the current situation. And you're kind of looking online like, I need a vacation once this is done. So this could be the energy of you, you know, looking in and re doing your research on where you're going to take this vacation once this breaks and you're able to go take that well-needed break that you need. So that could be a message for some. Or maybe you need to do that. All right. And it's open, honest communication also. So that's openly expressing how you feel also that you need a vacation or telling your boss, I need a vacation when this is done. <laughs> so however that run uh, goes for you. So we have environmental awareness. So we have the Ten of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. There's something in your environment. Uh, you know, king or queen here doesn't matter. Queen of Pentacles is someone who can also be like a business owner or a boss or in the financial um, area. It's very stable, ground is secure. You know, they make their money, they're wealthy, they're abundant, you know, kind of energy. But we have burdens here. Whatever your environment is, I mean, you may be someone who uh, has a lot of resources, which, you know, people come to you for your resources in some way. Could have something to do with the environment. But I feel like some of you may be feeling very uh, burdened by something here. Um, just to be aware of everything around you. Even, you know, messages coming in or if you're hearing things around you. Um, don't get too overburdened by the energies around you. This is, you know, trying to stay stable here and grounded with the um, pentacle energy. So just be level-headed, smart, practical, and wise about the energies around you, especially if there's gossip, talk, uh, messages coming in and out. Don't let it burn in your head, your mind, uh, your body, you know, your soul, everything around you. Just stay level-headed and grounded and wise about what's going on around you. That's kind of what I'm getting with that. All right, so let's see, or it's time to lay down some uh, burdens, you know, whatever your environment is and you're feeling like you're getting too overburdened, it's time to release some of that. It's time to, you know, make that known and, you know, awareness. So, so let's see what this higher consciousness is about for you, Libra. What is this higher consciousness? So now we got a king of pentacles. So we've got a matching couple coming out here. So I think that's like a double message. And the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is about needing, could, need, could be needing to make a decision of some kind here, and you're not sure. But again, this is whatever de decision you're needing to make, it could be something about your finances, your career, your stability, and you're wondering, is this a good option? Is this a good direction? What should I do here? Changing jobs or something with your finances, you know, investing, not to invest, not sure what to do. It's really needing to trust your gut and your intuition, your higher knowing. If your gut is telling you um, about, you know, about to go in a definite yes or no direction, trust that. Because I think your stability uh, depends on it in some way, shape, or form. I do see the pinnacle here. So you could be debating whether or not to accept a new job opportunity, career opportunity, or investing in something or not investing in something. And you're just you're just not sure, you know, like back and forth. I just don't know what to do here. Just trust your intuition, whatever your gut is telling you. You know, if your gut and your intuition is telling you no, I just don't feel it's right. Trust it. Trust that. If it's telling you yes, trust that also. So I see you may be having a hard decision to make here on something. All right. So what is what your thoughts? What is that about for Libra? Libra, what is what's your thoughts about for Libra? Libra, please. So we have the Nine of Wands and Temperance. So the Nine of Wands can be about the wounded warrior, you know, feeling like you've been through a battle and a struggle. So maybe you, you're kind of in like that what was me kind of energy, like uh, all I've had to do is struggle, struggle, struggle. It's been such a fight, such a fight. When is it going to get better? But it's telling you, you know, 
try to get out of that energy. For some of you, if you are in that energy of what was me and it's always a struggle, it's always a battle, nothing ever goes my way. I know at times I feel that way, but temperance is here to say, you know, have patience, have patience. It's about peace and harmony and balance. Try to stay balanced and patient. Try to get out of that mindset into more balanced energy because you'll have more peace and harmony in your thoughts and, you know, in the energy around you and what you desire for the future. So that's kind of what I'm getting with that. So watch how you're thinking. It's only important to think about what you desire, not what you fear. So let's see what this helpful person is about for you, Libra. Helpful person, Libra. So we have strength and the eight of wands. So there you go. So there's taking action, communication, uh, traveling. I know we can't travel right now, but... Um, could be over the internet or just reaching out in some way, shape, or form to someone that you could see as a very strong, independent person who has a lot of wisdom. Uh, they've been very courageous and brave through their life. They've been through, maybe they've been through a lot of battles and struggles and they've overcome a lot. So you, this is, could be you reaching out and uh, or them reaching out to you for advice, guidance, um, wanting to know about the struggles, the battles, you know, how you stay so, or how they stay so courageous and brave through whatever they've been through and how they remain uh, confident. So that's kind of what I'm getting with that. So whoever you're reaching out to, whoever's reaching out to you, here's the reaching out and here's about how did you get your strength? You know, how did you get through that? How did you do this? You know, so that's what I feel with that. So somebody that could either give you a lot of good advice, guidance, or vice versa about their struggles, their battles, their life that can help you on your journey, I feel. All right, so it's like you want to know how do you stay so confident and strong or them to you, and uh, somebody's reaching out here. All right, so it could be a mentor, counselor, um, any way, shape, or form. So let's see what the self-employment is about for you, Libra. What is the self-employment about for Libra? So we have the Queen of Wands and the Magician. Wow. So the Queen of Wands here is somebody who is very fiery, passionate, go-getter. They go after what they want, a lot of drive, ambition. And the Magician is manifesting a whole new beginning, manifesting something for yourself. So if you're passionate and fiery about something and you're like, I want to do this for a living, I want to make a business, I want to, you know get this going here and you have that drive, fire, ambition to do it, to manifest, knowing how to manifest this, this is like going for it. It's a magical opportunity and you can manifest with a lot of drive, passion, and ambition this magical opportunity here. Libra, wow. I think Spirit is telling you to go for it. Manifest it. All right. Whatever your idea is, creation, idea, adventure, endeavor, project, whatever here. It's a blessed, magical opportunity. And you were born to do it. The same there. Alright, so what is this? You are gifted. You are very intelligent and talented for Libra. Please, for Libra. So we have the King of Wands. Now we have in the star. So we got the King and Queen of Wands. And we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So this is double confirmation of having all that drive, passion, ambition, go-getter, and double clarity on stability, wealth, abundance, growth, expansion. So that's like double whammies there. So <laughs> if you have all that drive, passion, fire, and ambition that can lead to all the stability and abundance, I'd say go for it. So you have gifted. You are gifted. So this divinely guided, gifted energy that you have, this is faith, hope, optimism, uh, healing energy. You may have a gift to heal in some way, shape, or form. It could be spiritual. It could be being a doctor, a nurse, uh, a counselor, a therapist, whatever here. But you do have the gift to heal in some way, shape, or form. Being very talented, it's divinely guided, gifted to you to remain hopeful and uh, optimistic about this. And you do have the energy to have wishes and dreams coming true because, again, you do have that fire, drive, ambition to do this. So it's saying that yes, definite and definite yes here. So it's exactly what I felt. Wow. Okay, so what else here for our definite yes? I feel like this is just a yes to everything on the board here. So 
What else? Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Swords. Wow. So we have two energies here. So the Queen of Cups is that, you know, intuitive energy. It's loving, it's caring, nurturing, giving, love, emotions. The Queen of Swords can be kind of cold cutting sometimes or they've been through a lot would put them in that energy. Um, or somebody, you know, this is also my Divine Clarity card, Divine Source, bring in clarity, truth, um, intervention, enlightenment. And it's about, you know, using that star to cut away things that are no longer starving you, standing up, not backing down, on open, honest, truthful communication kind of energy. So, you know, it's a yes here. So, to, and, you know, the Queen of Cups to me can also be like a um, parental figure or somebody that you love near and dear. So, if, again, with the Queen of Swords, you know, if you've cut somebody out here that was near and dear to your heart and you're thinking about mending this situation, I'm getting a parent or a parent like figure. I feel it's a definite yes here to try to mend the situation in some way, shape, or form. That's kind of what I feel. This could be your energy and their energy because you are ear and the Queen of Swords is ear. And the Queen of Cups can be like a parental figure or someone who is like a parental figure. Let's get one more on that. Um, I feel like we need one more. Prince of Pentacles. So here is the Knight of Pentacles. So this is making slow, steady progress forward. Coming offer coming forward with an offer here. Can we work this out? Can we be stable, grounded? Can we take it slow and steady? Can we rebuild this? Can we ground this once again? Um, so it's a slow, stable, grounded offer to try to heal and mend this for the long term. So someone's extending out. If someone's been thinking about extending out a stable offer to try to solidify, reground, restabilize, I say it's a definite yes here. Or if there's some sort of offer coming into you, um, some way, shape, or form, if it's not that, again, it could be a new opportunity, a new job, it could be a raise, promotion, um, it could be coming in for you here, or something like that. So what is this love from your parents about for Libra, Five of Swords, Seven of Cups? Yeah, I feel like for some of you with your parents or a parent or someone like a parent figure, five of swords is like that losing battle kind of energy, fight for nothing kind of energy. Do I give up and fight? Do I keep fighting on it? Just don't know. It's a losing battle or kind of getting ahead at all costs. I don't really care, but I'm getting more of like feeling it's been like a losing battle or, you know, just the energy of just giving up. It's not worth it because the seven of cups can be very confusing energy options, decisions, so I'm getting just confusion about do I keep fighting for this? Is this a losing battle with like a parental figure here? But I do feel there's still love in the situation. It's still an energy of wanting to protect and nourish and heal. But being confused and thinking it's a losing battle. So let's get one more here for Libra. Three of Wands. So waiting. So someone's been waiting waiting about this with this energy because they're unsure if it's a losing battle and they're very confused. Let's get one more. Let's get one more for Libra. One more for Libra. So the High Priestess. So this is about, you know, gut, intuition, higher knowing, and no talking, no communication. So someone's not trusting their intuition about this and there's been no communication and waiting and confusion about whether to give up <laughs> the, on this. Eight of Swords, yeah, mental entrapment. Can't get out of your head. So, wow. What else? I just don't want to leave it there. But look at that, the sun. There can be massive healing in this. Total happiness, joy, expansion, enlightenment, happy home and family, success and victory. This can be overcome. There is still... A need here to love, nurture, heal, mend, protect, love. To have total happiness and joy in this. If we can overcome fear, doubt, um, stubborn energy, um, confusion, ego, and start to heal this situation, because we have the sun here. Massive, massive healing can be done. A definite yes over here. Wow, Libra. Okay, Libra, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.